Welcome to the television ministry of King David Baptist Church, 2329 North King Avenue in Lutcher, Louisiana, under the leadership of Pastor Ferdinand Wallace Jr., a church that's warm, friendly, and our doors are always open and welcoming. King David Baptist Church. Good morning. I'm Pastor Ferdinand Wallace Jr., the pastor of King David Baptist Church of 2329 King Avenue in Lutcher, Louisiana. We welcome you to come out and fellowship with us in our Sunday worship service every Sunday at 8 o'clock. Our Lord's Supper service is on first Sunday. Our mission is on Tuesday at 5 o'clock. Bible study, prayer service is on Thursday beginning at 5.30. Prayer service, 6 o'clock Bible study. Come on out and be blessed. Thank you for fellowshipping with us. Enjoy the service. Amen. I want to say thank you to your, your pastor, to the family of True Light, amen, for having us here on this day. For truly God is good. There were many that could have been chosen, but I thank God that you saw fit. Amen. And allow God to use you in a very special way to choose a servant like me to be here on this day. I'm truly grateful for that. I'm grateful to the family of King David that have come this far with me on this morning. Amen. Thank you for being here. Amen. I appreciate your presence this morning. Amen. There is a word from the Lord in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, and beginning at verse number 41. Acts chapter 2. Beginning at verse 41, there say amen. amen. You have a few pages turning, but we'll get there. In the New Testament, the book of Acts. The only book of history in the New Testament. Amen. And it reads as follows. Then they that gladly received the word were baptized. Mm -hmm. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship breaking of bread and in prayer. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men so every man had need. And they continued daily with one accord in the temple, breaking bread from house to house. They'd eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. I want to talk about God's church. God's church. Where it, it first began on the day of Pentecost. While they were in Jerusalem. And this is where the church first began. And it began there and this is an example that God has left for us yeah. as believers. And sometimes we got many churches that are coming up in today's time. Well, but I wonder if it's God's church. God's church. For 120 years, upon this rock, I build my church yes, sir. and the gates of hell shall not prevail God's church yes, sir. and God's church you gotta have the right 
message. Because many are open, but they got the wrong message. And if you got the right message, the right message would be about my Savior, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Come on, come on. Because some say that he was just an ordinary man. Uh -huh. But I want you to know that Jesus Christ was not an ordinary man, Amen. but that he was God himself yeah. in the flesh. Yeah. And how do you know it? Because the scripture says so. Yeah. Yeah. According to the word of God, it says, in the beginning yeah. was the word. Yeah. The Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. So he was not just an ordinary man, but he was God himself that came down to this world to die for our sins. They got to get the message right about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I want you to know that he came down to this world to die for our sins he died on that cross but I just don't want you to know that that story just didn't stop right there yes they high. yes they stretched him wide they put nails in his hand he hung his head and he died on that cross and they took him down off that cross and they placed him in a borrowed tomb and he stayed there three days and according to the scripture that he got up with all power in his hand. And I serve a risen savior today that that grave is empty that my God he is not dead. You got to get the message right. And the message is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That he came. The gospel. He died. Yes. And he rose again. Yes. And he's coming back for a prepared people yes. for a prepared place. Yes. The church, God's church, yes. got the message right. Yes. And they don't do they have the message right, but they got the message of sin correct. Yes. Because every last one of us yes. were born yes. into sin. Yes. And every last one of us needed a savior. Yeah. We needed to be redeemed because every last one of us was on our way to hell. Yeah. There is none righteous. No, not one. But we all have sin and come short of the glory of God. We got to get our sin message correct. And today is time people don't want to preach about sin. They want to preach about everything else about sin. But you got to know where you have come from. Yeah. You got to know that you were a sinner and you needed to be saved. Yes. None of us were righteous. Yeah. But we got to get our message right. Mm -hmm. The wages of sin yeah. was death. Yeah. Yeah. But thank God for the gift yeah. of God, yeah. which is Christ Jesus. Yeah. We all have sin. So, the scripture. Well, there is none. none. Righteous. No, not one. Mm -hmm. From the pulpit on down. From the back door to the front door. Every last one of us, we needed a savior. We needed to be saved. And the blood of animals couldn't do it. Because the blood of animals was only there to cover our sins. But I'm so glad for the blood of Jesus Christ. The was shed at Calvary. Yes. What was able to wash away my sins. Yes. It was nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes. And I'm so glad that it doesn't wash away my past sins. But it washed away my past. It washed away my present. As well as my future sins. Yes. And as far as the east is from the west. Yes. They're so far away that God has put away my sins. Yes. And he remembers them no more. Yes. Thank God. Yes. You may remember. But thank God that God remembers them no more. We got to get the message of sin correct. Then you got to have the right message. Salvation. People say in order to be saved. You got to do that in order to be saved. The only thing that you got to be saved is faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said that if thou would Confess with thy and believe in thy heart 
that God has raised him from the dead. Yeah. Thou shall be saved. Amen. That is salvation in itself. Yes. And talking about you got to speak. Talking about spirit or do this to be saved. Yeah, yeah. Salvation is believing yeah, yeah. on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. And you got to have the right message. God's church yeah. got the right message on salvation. Mm -hmm. That you got to believe on the Lord yeah. Jesus Christ. You believe that he came, yeah. he died, well, and he rose again. The yeah. gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Thou shall be saved. Yeah. Preach. And that is by the faith that we have in God. Ah, yes. We are saved by the grace of God. Ah. It's not a works should any man boast. Ah. Works can't get you in. Yeah. And works can't get you out. Right. You did nothing to earn this. Because yeah. we all deserve to be in hell. But thank God for the free gift yes. that he has given us to us. Yes. For God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting yes. life. The message of salvation. The message of our servants, he got to be right. That God is a servant God. Yeah. That he can do what he wants, when he wants, and how he wants to. God has no respect of person. God can do whatever he wants. He can save whomever he wants to. And thank God that this gospel is not just for the rich. That it's not just for the Republican. And it's yeah. not just for Democrats. But this gospel is for everybody. Yeah. If we do what the world have done, we will be separated from this world. Yeah. To save everybody. It's not about your denomination. It's not about your race. It's not about your education. It's not about your looks. It's none of these things. God loves everybody. Yeah. And the church of God has no cliques. No. No. It'll have no cliques. God loves everybody. Yeah. I don't care where you come from. I don't care what you have done. God loves you. Yeah. And he loved you that you may be saved. That's right. That's right. That you might have a right to the tree of life. The message got to be right. God's church. Then the membership got to be right. In God's church, all of them were saved. When it first began. You must be you got to be born again. Yes, sir. To be a part of God's church. You got to be born again. And many people, they're not safe. In today's church, in the modern church, he says that the wheat and the tear grow together. I pray that the majority of the church is safe. Yeah. Now they got some that slipped in. But even if they slip in, you're in the your right place. And you're at the, the right time. Too. Because the day that you hear my voice, he says to hard not your heart. So you're in the right place, even if you just slip on in. You just came here just to be a spectator. If you, even if you're not been born again, see, I got good news for you that today is your your day of salvation. I come to let you know that you are in the, the right place and you are at the, the right time hearing the word of God. God search. The members are saved. And only the members are saved, but the members are set apart. And the reason why they're set apart because they need to be able to see a difference in your life. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. The problem is too many churches have allowed the world to come into the church. And now they have allowed the things in the world 
to dictate how the church is going to be operated. But God has left a divine order. And I don't care what happens in the world, how the world see things. God's church is operated totally differently from the world. And God left an order back then and the order is still the same because God has not changed. People have changed. He has still allowed it that the man should be the head of the household. That the man should protect and provide for the family. And that the wife should be submissive to her own husband. And that the children should rise up and obey their parents. That's an order that God has left for us. He has left the same order for the church. Amen. That God has given us an order and all we got to do is follow the word of God. It's right there in the book. But we're looking at every place else instead of the book. Amen. He already said what he has for the church. The Bible. Biblical instructions before leaving this earth. Whatever you need, it's in the book. You got to get in the book. You got to study the book. See? Not psychology, not philosophy, and all this other stuff. You need to get in the the Bible. Yes. Everything you need. Well, it's right there. Yes. Don't add. Don't take away. It ends with a man, and that's the last book of prophecies. And no more prophets coming back. Come on now. This prophet and that prophet. God ended the book with amen. Everything you need to be said has already been said. We're just foretelling that would have already been told. This and that. Making sure our message is right. Our membership is right. Got to be safe. Yeah. Got to be separated. And we need members that's going to be faithful. Yes. That's going to be steadfast yes. in the ministry. Too many people are not committed to God. Sis mm-hmm. said it today that God don't need no part time soldier yeah. for a full time battle. Yeah. <laughs> he needs a full time soldier. Yeah. And he don't need no coward soldiers. Yeah. He needs someone that's going to be able to stand. Yeah. That's going to be committed and loyal to him. Yeah. And that's what we need. Loyalty. Yeah. Yeah. Be faithful to your church. Yeah. How do you be faithful? When the church doors are open, you need to be here. Yeah. Yeah. For prayer service, for Sunday school, for yeah. Bible study, you need to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Be some faithful members. Don't have to look for you. I wonder where they, they say that you are a, a member, see, but can't find you. But when things are going on, everything has its perfect place. And everybody is important in the body of Christ. You need to be here. When people are here, we're able to operate smoothly. Yes. When everybody is in their place yes. and operating according to God's will. Yes. What he have told you? You got a gift. Serving God. Yes. Use your gift to the glory of God. Yes. And every last one of us got at least one gift. Yes, and you ought to be using whatever it is. Yeah. Give your best yeah. to the glory of God. Right. You may not be like other people, but that's okay. Yeah. Do what God has called you to do. Right. Yeah. End of the day, give God the give God the glory. Yeah. The message gotta be right. Right. Yeah. The membership gotta be right. Right. The methodology gotta be right. Uh-huh. We come here. Yeah. To worship yes, God. That's, right. that's what we come here for. Yeah. And no other thing. Yeah. I came to see what sisters got on. Yeah. I came to gossip about this one. Yeah. And came to gossip about that one. Yes, but you come to church to worship God. Yeah. And God is looking for true worshipers. That is going to worship him in spirit and in truth.
forgetting about yourself yes. and concentrating on him yes. God is looking for true worshipers yes. working together that's what they did they worked together they had all things in common yes. and they worked together breaking a bread praying and fellowshipping with one another and that should be our common goal. We're all on the same team. Yeah. We're not in any competition to be competing against this one or competing against that one. We're all in this together. Yeah. We are one body in Christ and we all should be working towards the same goal. The same. True light, working towards the same goal. Yeah. King David, working towards the same goal. Whatever church, you're working towards the same goal because we're all on our way. We say we're all going to heaven. Yeah. But we can't get along down here. And you can't make it down here. And you're talking about you going. <laughs> a place. Well. Thank God all of these things are going to be left. They ain't going to be over on the other side. <laughs> all the troubles. <laughs> the, the, the confusion and all this other stuff. Going to be left behind. Thank God we on our way to heaven. Yeah. So we got to get our worship right. Yeah. We got to work together. And only we got to work together, but we're able to walk together. Yes. Come on, preacher. Come on. Because nobody don't want to walk. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. Mm. Walking together, having fellowship with one another. Many members, but yet we still one body. Yes. And we should be able to walk together in. Christ Jesus. But people don't want to walk together. They got division. They got separations. They got jealousy. They got envy. They got strife. That shouldn't be named among us in the church. We all in this together. There's no big eyes and no little U's. Everybody is important in the body. I need you. You need me. Yeah. And we should all be willing to walk together in the body. And what are we walking together for? That souls may be saved. Yeah. That we can go out and win the loss to Christ. Yeah. That he have given us the great commission. Go ye therefore into all the worlds. Yeah. That we ain't got no reason to fear because the Lord is with us. Yeah. Right. Oh, what a sight it would be when we get together and walk together and do what God had for us to do. There are still souls that need to be saved. Yes, there are still people that need to come to Christ. Yes, and it, it's not very far. It's right here. See? Right sometime beginning in our own homes. Yeah. It's right here even in our own community. Uh -huh. You got to go far. It's right there. And God has given us the ministry. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. If Gareville is going to ever be a better place, it's going to be because of the church. If Louisiana is going to ever be a better place, it's because of the church. If this United States is going to be a better place, it's going to be because of the church. Not the government. Yes. I don't care who you put in Washington, D.C. Yes. I don't care who you put on the Supreme Court Justice. Yes. I don't care who is be leading whatever position you're in. God is still in control. And God is going to allow so much. Yes, sir. God is still in control. Yes. God has not forgotten about you. <laughs> But he said that if my people, yeah. if my people, yes. who are my people? The redeemed. Yes. If my people who are called by my name, yes. if they would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from your wicked ways, I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive your sins. And I will heal the land. He's waiting on you. That's right. He's waiting on you. Do what God has put in your hand to do. And everything else will fall into place. You got to have the right message. You got to have the right membership. Gosh. 
You got to have the right methodology, God's church. And then you got to have the right master. <laughs> you got to have the right master. All right. Who is your master? Whomever you serve. You can't serve two masters. Either going to be for him or you're going to be against him. And when they serve the master, souls were added to the church daily. That's when you see the power of God yes, moves. Sir. Uh -huh. yes, sir. And the power is still available yes, to is. us today. Yes, uh -huh. The power of God still works. <laughs> the blood still works. <laughs> the message still works. God is still on the throne. <laughs> he have not left it. We have left him. But he have not left us. <laughs> but God's message is still the same. But who is your master? And I want to know that God is my master. God's church. In him will I serve and not another. And when you got God as your master, you got everything that you need. Because it's not about us. But it's all about him. See, I'm just a co-laborer with God. See? My name is not on any church. See? I'm just, this is God's church. This is God's house. And God do what he wants in his place. He just told us, preach the word, teach the word. If your gift is saying, sing the word. Whatever your gift is, use it to the glory of God. And put the rest in the master's hand. Who adds? Not me. See? Yeah. Who subtract? Not me. See? God adds. Yes. God subtract. Yes. This is God's house. Yes. The Lord give it. The Lord take it away. And blessed be the name of the Lord. When he see fit, he gonna add when he wanna add. And then when he see fit, he subtracts yes. when he wanna subtract. Yes. Ain't our house. Yes. We trying to put things together. You trying to do something that ain't even your job. See? <laughs> let God, let God work it out. Yes. Put it in the master's hand. Yes. And watch the power of God move. Yes. He can do it. Yes. He did it back then. Yes. And he gave unto the churches uh -huh. as much as needed to be. Uh -huh. But you got to make this master. See? If, if he is your master, yes. you got to make him personal. Thank you for watching and fellowshipping with us. We pray that it has been a blessing unto you. We're looking forward to seeing you in person. Come on out and be blessed at King David Baptist Church, 2329 King Avenue in Lutch, Louisiana. This has been Pastor Ferdinand Wallace Jr. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a copy of today's program, please contact us at the King David Baptist Church at area code 225-869-8595. That's 225-869-8595. Please note the title of today's program. Thank you for viewing today's service of the King David Baptist Church located at 2329 North King Avenue in Lutcher, Louisiana under the leadership of Pastor Ferdinand Wallace Jr. Pastor Wallace and the members and congregation invite you to join them for service starting each Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Until next time, we thank you for viewing and have a great weekend.